Hi, I'm Stephanie Greenfield. Today is a great day. We're going to be sitting with my dear friend of 15 years, Diane von Furstenberg, in her studio. She's going to talk to us today about love, about life, about her career, about the future. There's so much to talk about, so let's get started. We're here in New York City's meatpacking district. 40 years ago, what'd they do here? They only packed and unpacked meat. Down the street, Diane Van Furstenberg. Diane was here 15 years ago in the meatpacking, nobody was. Now you see the sexiest people, the best stores. It's all about the energy of New York. <laughs> what do you do with your sandwich? The total beat is happening right here. Diane von Furstenberg was born in Belgium and arrived on the fashion scene in 1972 with her fabulous wrap dress. That was only the beginning of the mark she'd make on fashion, women, and the world. Diane and her iconic dress became known as symbols of feminine power. After a hiatus from fashion in the 80s, she re-emerged in the late 90s, regained control of her brand, and transformed it into one of today's most successful fashion empires. As president of the Council of Fashion Designers of America, DVF is now taking her remarkable leadership to the entire fashion industry. She's an avid philanthropist dedicated to empowering women around the world. With her life and her business busier than ever, Diane von Furstenberg is in the midst of yet another fashion evolution. Well, hi, my friend. Thank you so much for agreeing to do our show, The Guilt Sponsoring. Oh. So many people want to know from designers, and specifically someone like you. Where does the process start? <sighs> the creative process is, is is a very undefinable thing to explain. Where do designers get inspired? They get inspired by the street. It's not the designers necessarily that, that set the tone. The, the, the tone is also, it, it's a reflection exactly. of your time. Even if there were no designers, nobody would design anything anymore. They would still be fashion. Still, all of a sudden, people would either wear long or short. Mm. It would just happen. I just saw your show. I hope you got thank you cards from retailers because it just looks like money in the bank. How'd you feel about it? I feel great. It's, it's, it's a very interesting moment again in, in my career as we start a new decade. There is such a positive, exciting energy here right now. It's like a day one entrepreneurial rush for this very big company. It feels so new. It does feel new because every day is new. And, and uh, I have more energy than I've ever had. I am very excited, very engaged. I always related businesses like mine and yours to that show Cheers. You know, it's the bar where everybody comes in and they know your name, it's that personal touch. How do you think it's changed now? I don't think about things that would change. What I think is, when you are a good merchant, you're a good merchant. It doesn't matter for what or for when or whatever. I believe that you should do what you're passionate about. The most important thing is to have clarity. Once you have clarity, then you have strategy. And when you have strategy, then you have success. You are that person that I think gives other women courage. And that's but a gift. I, I, I also get courage from other women. How? What do you think is the most inspiring thing? I'm inspired thing? by their strength. I'm inspired by women's resiliency. I'm inspired by women in general, all women. I have never met a woman who is not strong. That doesn't exist. Millions of women, you know, they're looking for people that they admire, you know, to take something away, whether it is, you know, what they should do with their life, what they should do with their man, what they should do with their job. And I think, you know, it's an amazing journey. When you talk about, you know, your business was but in a shambles. everyone's life is a journey. I think the most important is to be honest with yourself. The, own, the, the most important relationship in life is the relationship you have with yourself. Absolutely. And it is difficult and it is a lot of work and you have to be honest with yourself you have to like yourself but in order to like yourself you have to see your faults you have to accept them you have to improve what can be improved but I mean the relationship you have with yourself is what will give you the strength to make every decision and to go through the life you have to like yourself 
And in order to like yourself, you have to see the truth. You say things to people that they put in their pocket. I believe in the power of words. And words have a huge power. I don't say anything I don't want to say. And I don't want, I don't want to say things that you know, like people say, oh, I die. No, I don't die. I mean, who wants to die? I mean, it's, it's, you have to, you have to be attention, to pay attention to what you say. I used to say there were three phases of life. One is development, one is enjoyment, and the third one is fulfillment. So now I'm at the fulfillment moment of my life. And truly, I've had a very exciting life. But you this think? Is, but, <laughs> but this is maybe, at the end, the most exciting of it all. Diane reveals more about what makes a woman truly beautiful. You don't want to miss it. See more of my exclusive interview at guilt.com slash unracked.